And when I woke up, I was outside my Airbnb on the ground, um, on the concrete outside my Airbnb, my phone and my wallet gone, which I just got a new phone yesterday. The Twin Cities family is working to find answers this after they say their loved one was kidnapped and killed in Colombia. The tragedy is also sending shockwaves through the local Hmong community. Our Pauline Lee joins us live in the newsroom with what we know so far. Pauline? Pauline? For many American men, the United States simply does not provide the opportunities that it once did, not financially and not romantically. And many men understand that. And the United States for a lot of guys has merely become a place to accrue the American dollar only to spend it someplace else. There are many men of all nationalities who are understanding that growing into the passport bros philosophy. And this particular brother did just that. He was living in Atlanta, but after living in Atlanta, he decided that he would move to Colombia. And here's his reason. Reason why I moved to Colombia is because I was living in Buckhead and yeah. my expenses were very, very high mm -hmm. and I want to really build a business. So I wanted to get rid of my expenses and live lower than my means so I can actually really build a company. So I wanted to have nothing. I didn't want to have things like sneakers. I didn't want to have uh, go out on dates, all of these things where I had this high overhead. I wanted to just downgrade everything so I can put my all focus on my purpose and wow. growing a company. So I was able, I'm able to live on the beach for like a thousand dollars a month, and that's more the reason why I was living in Buckhead and my expenses were so high. So I didn't care about a car. I didn't care about the things that most people care about. I just wanted to get rid of everything and go after building a brand. Wow, that is incredible. I want to give a shout out to Brother Hassan El Sadiq. If you follow him on TikTok, go and check him out or YouTube. But let me get back to the situation. This is one of the reasons why a lot of American men want out of the States. They want to build a business. They want to cut down on their expenses. But some other men want to find another opportunity at love or dating women that are not in the matrix. And that was the case with this particular comedian here. And his name was Tu Jer Sean. He lived in Minnesota and he had frequently visited Colombia many times. And as you know, it's quite cheap to go to Colombia from America. And he felt comfortable going to the country. Now, while he was there, he met a young lady and they started dating. So much so that he went out and enjoyed himself and they took pictures together did a lot of things together. So when he came back in December, he expected to be like clockwork, except for this time, it wasn't. Can I get a dun 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 sound effect? No, this time it was brutal. She lured him into a kidnapping plot. He basically showed up at a location. Some other guys took him. They started calling people on his phone, demanding $2,000 for his release. And once it didn't happen, he got stabbed to death, but stopped the show. Rewind, Nima. That's one thing that's happening in Colombia. There are other many things occurring in the country too. And a lot of the times we're seeing something happening where black men or men in general are being drugged by the drug called scoplamine. Here's a brother talking about what happened to him in the situation. Uh, so uh towards the end of the last day probably two days before i had to leave i kind of got a little lonely so i was like well well you know let me try to go on tinder don't use tinder but let me try to go on tinder uh find me uh you know a little nice chick and uh before i leave you know in the in the night with that went on tinder um found one uh she wanted to meet up um we met at uh it's called la commercial plaza it's like a 30 minutes away from the Chippy Choppy Mall in the La Flora district. Uh, she stayed like 10 minutes away from there. Um, ended up waiting for her. She ended up coming. Um, we used Google Translate, of course. Um, we went to a bar. I don't remember the name in the mall, in the uh, Plaza Mall, right? So we're sitting down. We're using Google Translate. She's just telling me a little bit about her. Um, she's complimenting me, of course. Uh, eyes and you know um, you're a genuine guy nice and everything yada 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 
have a few drinks um have a little bit more a few drinks we um get up and she ends up taking me to another bar and this is where it happened um we get to another bar and when we we sit down and she orders el himidor i think that's what it's called um it's a white liquor start drinking <laughs> and um at some point she told me to kiss her and i think it was at that point when i did she may have slipped something in my drink or she could have had the bartender do it they i know they usually do that too but at some point that's when it happened so when i took my second shot i just didn't feel i felt funny um she then asked you know um, i asked her actually i was like hey would you like to go back to my airbnb obviously you know what was on my mind <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and she was like she was pretty um pretty latina um afro latina um she was like yeah you know show me where you live i showed her where i live and everything and um i got up and that's when i kind of didn't feel right but you know i just chalked that up ip to me being drunk um got up a little wobbly you know she's helping me a little bit I get in the car, which I thought was an Uber, but from what my friends were telling me, it probably wasn't an Uber. It was probably just somebody she knew, you know, and um, got in the back of the car and IP. <laughs> when I got in the back of the car at that point, I don't know what happened. I just, I don't know when I fell asleep. I just did. And when I woke up, I was outside my Airbnb on the ground um, on the concrete outside my Airbnb, my phone and my wallet gone, which I just got a new phone yesterday. And on Monday, I'm working on getting all my credit cards back. But she has <laughs> maxed my credit cards, which I've taken care of that also. I want to give a shout out to the International Passport YouTube channel for that. And what's happening is with the rise of American men in the passport bro community going to Colombia, it has created a new business opportunity for criminal networks. And that is something that is happening a lot. Guys don't understand it. The more you go to Colombia, the more organized crime are targeting you. Women are coming on Tinder, they're luring guys and setting them up, just like this would happen if you had a new McDonald's or a new burger joint. And that will be explained here by the YouTube channel Life with David. It's a very profitable business. It's a business and it's a very profitable business here in Medellin. Scamming foreign guys, females scamming for foreign guys here in Colombia and Medellin especially. And it's not just females. It's not just the females doing this. These are groups. These are what they call bandillas, right? Local gangs, gangs up in the neighborhoods that, or, this is organ, these are organized groups that are doing this. Sending out the females, finding the females and, and and when those females like trap those guys, they have one or two guys in the groups waiting for them to help them out if they need help. It's an organ organized effort. And because they saw that it was successful, because tourism is picking up and a lot of foreigners are coming here and with a lot of money and a lot of guys coming here because of those certain reasons and going up to, up to those kind of girls, they saw the success, they saw the easy money. So what happens? More people, more groups start copying and start implementing the same strategy, the same scam, scam. And what I would like to say is deaths are on the rise in Medellin, in Colombia. I hear about them every week now, and my heart goes out to uh, the men that are going out there. I've covered these stories myself. We had one man um, that was actually killed. He was shot to death in a robbery gone bad in Colombia. Now, this isn't to say that this is happening all the time or every day or everybody is out to get you but you got to understand this whenever you're a foreigner and you're coming into a country that is relatively poor you do have a target on your back it's just like when african americans started coming back to african countries the year of return things like that in accra ghana well, guess what those people who were scammers and people who were shady sought out to take advantage of the new people coming into the system. And that is exactly what a lot of people did. A lot of land scammers got over, people lost their money, people lost their entire savings because it was the business taking advantage of foreigners. And so what a lot of guys need to understand is everything that glitters isn't gold. 
And if you're going to Columbia, you need to understand a lot of safety precautions because if you die there or something happens to you there, there's very little that you can do to get a lot of help. And that's something that is going on in that country. And I would just tell guys to continue to be safe, continue to watch what's happening, continue to uh, participate in communities. I want to give a shout out to the brother Razor Rays. He made a video called American was stabbed by a woman in Medellin. She climbed down the balcony to escape. And literally you see this woman basically climbing down the balcony. All right. After she has just committed this particular murder. All right. This is exactly what happened. Then she ends up getting arrested. But again, this happens after you pass away. It's too late. So, you know, almost every time I'm hearing about this more often. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity John. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. <laughs>